as the enrollment in the district shifted with desegregation, African American schools closed and capacity in district school facilities increased. At the time of desegregation, the district operated only five schools, Glenwood Elementary, Estes Hills Elementary, Carborough Elementary, Chapel Hill Junior High, and Chapel Hill High School. In the 1960s and 70s, the baby boomers arrived, and the district experienced a great growth spurt. It opened several new facilities through those two decades, including Frank Porter Graham Elementary, Guy B. Phillips Middle School, a new Chapel Hill High School, Gray Colberth Middle School, Elizabeth Sewell Elementary, and Ephesus Elementary. It would be another 22 years before the district's growth would pick up again and require yet another construction boom in the 1990s and the new millennium. A rapid increase in development patterns would be marked by the opening of the Charles and Lucille McDougal Middle School in 1994, followed by the Charles and Lucille McDougal Elementary School in 1996. At the same time, high school capacity was increased with the addition of East Chapel Hill High School. Since 2000, the district has opened Mary Scroggs Elementary, the R.D. and Uzel Smith Middle School, the Mel and Zora Rashkis Elementary School, Carborough High School, and Morris Grove Elementary. Neil Peterson joined the Chapel Hill Carborough City Schools as an assistant superintendent in 1987, just in time to experience the growth firsthand. As the longest serving superintendent in district history, he has seen the district's enrollment nearly double from the 6,314 students enrolled here when he took the helm as superintendent in 1992. Not only has the district grown, it's become increasingly diverse. In 1995, district demographics were recorded as African Americans, white, and other minority. The district was 73% white, 19% African American, and 8% other minority. The enrollment of Asian and Hispanic students has increased sharply since this time so that enrollment in 2007 was 58% white, 14% African American, 13% Asian, 10% Hispanic, and 5% multiracial. This increase in diversity has created an environment that celebrates the cultural heritage of our global student population. The growth and demographic changes in our student body over the last 20 years are really unprecedented in our district's history. When I came to the district, there may have been one ESL teacher. Next year, there will be 38. We've also established a dual language program at Glenwood and Carborough. But soon, we'll be expanding to three more elementary schools and to McDougal Middle School. We now employ a full-time district translator and interpreter for Spanish-speaking families and contract for translation services in at least a dozen different languages. In regard to growth, it has been a struggle to acquire the funding and sites to keep up with the burgeoning student population while maintaining our current schools. During my first few years in the district, we expanded every school facility. When Morris Grove opens in August, we will have built eight new schools since 1994, adding more than a million square feet to our inventory. Of course, more students require more staff to teach and support them. Since 2000, we've added more than 300 certified and classified positions. Today, the district operates three high schools, four middle schools, ten elementary schools, a school for young people being treated at UNC Hospital, and an alternative program for high school students. These schools serve more than 11,500 students. Those few UNC professors who envisioned something better got what they hoped for. It no doubt looks radically different than they ever could have imagined. We can picture them in a classroom getting an update from our faculty on a hundred years of changes, struggles, and progress. You can rightfully believe that they would feel proud of what they'd wrought. Mia Burroughs, school board member. 
At the age of 100, our school district is poised to embark on a new century. Will new technologies revolutionize how students learn? Will the disparities in achievement among our students be further reduced and eliminated? Will population growth continue to be a funding and facilities challenge? Today, we celebrate our history, our roots, and our heritage. At the same time, as educators, we accept our responsibility for preparing our students for a world that none of us can fully envision. Many children born this year will live to see the third century of the Chapel Hill Carborough City Schools. It is within our power to write the history that they will recount in 2109. For this reason, we all play an important part in creating the next chapter in our history.